Hello YouTube, my name is Lejo Diaz and welcome back to E3 Week here on the channel. Last episode, or yesterday, we did Can They Be DLC. Everyone is revisited and today, as we're approaching ever so closely to, the, to, to, to E3, we're going to be talking about, this is going to be probably a short video because I really couldn't think of much, will be about spin-offs and reimaginings I would like to see. Well, reimaginings, I only have two and spin-offs, I basically have like four or five, so it's not really much, but I want to talk about them and give my opinion on things like this. So first things first, it's two spin-offs that I'm surprised haven't happened yet. One of them I'm really shocked hasn't happened because it's been going on, could have been done for the past I want to say 15 years about that sounds about right another one it could have been done in the last couple of years but i'm still surprised it hasn't happened uh so first is the two from pokemon the one that i'm really shocked that hasn't happened yet for a while is a pokemon contest spin-off and you might say but spin but con uh, contests are boring and you're correct they are absolutely boring in the games if you watch the anime the, the the contest the contests are hella fun like they have great moments in there they're like they have the pikachu develop uh, ash had a, a pikachu do a uh, electric shield where it's just pikachu spinning on the ground like a beyblade and shooting out thunderbolt and that creates a shield around him they also had a combination of moves i believe it was volt tackle with iron tail to create the sense of um to create more spectacle in that uh, in the in, in the in the contest and that's awesome that was awesome for them to do uh, the combination of moves the battles everything was neat to see now in pokemon games the contests are not great there you choose a move and you do the move and you earn arts and applause and that's it you're done good job kid thank you for coming We'll see you next time. Uh, and I think like a contest, a contest game like the ones in the, like the anime would be great. And I'm actually surprised it hasn't happened yet. It seems like something ripe for the for the making, and it would have been great for home consoles. It's a weird thing that we haven't seen. Another one spin-off that I'm kind of shocked it hasn't happened yet. But hey, maybe we'll hear about it at E3 or the upcoming uh, Pokemon Direct, which I believe happens. Uh, well, this is going to go up on the third, right? Yeah, this is going up on the third, so gonna happen in two days is a ultra beast spin-off why not go to the universe of the ultra beast or different universe where ultra beasts are uh, or a different time where ultra beasts are just the regular pokemon i think it'll be interesting to see what that world looks like and how we could play in it it could be even developed by another team uh, game freak wants to do more than just pokemon so maybe give this up to somebody else uh, and just they make a different type of RPG with the Ultra Beasts. Maybe even have the rules be different in that universe than they are in the Pokemon universe. Then, um, one franchise that I'm predicting at E3 will be seeing a spin-off is Splatoon. Now, what type of Splatoon will it be? Will it be an RPG? I have two, actually, choices I think could, could happen. Actually, three. An RPG with, with the Inklings and the Octolings and all that stuff. That'll be interesting to see. Maybe in a different... Um, could be like section off in the world, could be a different timeline, could be in the future, could be in the past. It'd be an interesting thing to see, like, the Inklings um, in, 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 in an RPG setting, um, they have a lot of things to choose from and even could create new things for, for the game. Then a racing game, I don't know how well that could work, but it'll be interesting maybe like um, where it's the basic, I'm already surprised this is not a game mode on Splatoon where uh, you paint, it could be even a team thing, it could be team, it could be a single player thing where you shoot the ground and uh, you run it's 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 basically it's basically would be mario kart but instead of the carts it's you spraying the ground and going and like because it's everybody at once like you'll be spraying the ground but somebody else will be spraying the ground as well and it could create if they could make it uh, reasonably fun it could be interesting an interesting thing to to do maybe even be like uh, power-ups where you have like uh, not better more equipment like uh, to do shortcuts and stuff like mario karts um uh, um, Jesus, uh, mushrooms, like, create a bigger thing, like, it, like, if you want to take a shortcut, like, there's nothing stopping you from, from painting the ground, it's just, like, the paint doesn't stick, uh, uh too much, and you have, like, a limited time before the, the ink sticks, that's why you have, would have a power-up and stuff, it would be interesting, and another one could be a sports game, which kind of sports game, I don't know, uh, maybe a Splatoon skateboarding game would be interesting, like, the, the, the Splatoon is already very 90s, so it would be cool to see that take place in, in Splatoon because I don't think 
there's a lot of sports or things that talk that says scream 90s as much as uh, extreme sports or maybe that the splatoon extreme sports that'll be fun to see actually now that i think about it like you could have well could could the inklings go snowboarding i probably better not to go snowboarding people will we lose their minds because of 1080p uh but still and then the last um uh spin-off that i thought about was a metroid spin-off but here's the thing, I don't mind Metroid spin-offs, I don't even enjoy the spin-offs. I think it's a good idea to expand the universe. Uh, besides all the, the missions that Samus does in the regular missions, or the regular games. And one of them would be Samus as an actual bounty hunter. We've heard she's a bounty hunter, but we've never really seen her be a bounty hunter outside of going on these planets where she's fighting Metroids and fighting the space pirates and Mother Brain. It'd be cool to see her going to a different part of the galaxy or a different part of the universe to face off new enemies and new things uh, because I feel like Metroid as a whole is a franchise kind of stuck to the Metroids you know you can't deviate too much because then if it's a Metroid game then why doesn't it have Metroids you know it's a little, little thing um, but it could it could uh, it, it would be interesting to see then I have two I think two right yeah two reimagining for franchises that I would like to see the first one this two I've said for years one time I was even, people even asked me if I was high when I said the second one. But first is a F-Zero reimagining to be an adventure, an action adventure open world game in the style of the Batman Arkham games. Now, here's the thing. We've heard that Captain Falcon is also a bounty hunter. We've heard, we see in his Smash model that he has a gun holster, but I don't believe he has a gun and he doesn't use it. His entire moveset for Smash was created for Smash. So, if Nintendo were to give, and obviously, I don't, uh, obviously, when I say Batman Arkham games, I, I also mean like more lighthearted and more comedic than, you know, the dark and brooding Batman universe. Obviously, that would be a thing that would be needed, but it could be an interesting one, you know? Like, you go around, like, uh, you have the enemy, you, 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 it's basically what Batman was, but with Captain Falcon and more comedic. I know. It sounds like you're just saying make Batman game with Captain Falcon. Basically, that's it. Okay? But I think it will be interesting. And I think it will be a better way to reimagine the franchise and bring it back to the spotlight. Maybe afterwards you could do the F-Zero game that people want. But I think before that you need to make one that could actually sell and bring the character back into the spotlight. Maybe even have the, the racing still be a part of it. Be a part of the story. Um, but like between races or or between yeah between races you could just make a, like a big thing like this is what actually is going on like you have to stop this and that and what's happening and maybe even racers are a part of it like black shadow could be the main villain but like he's some he's doing something but you can't really uncover it to like the end uh but yeah uh the other uh, one that I, this is the one that i was called high that a lot of people asked me if it was high is a star fox game based or in the style of the, Ma the original Mass Effect trilogy but once again um, with more lighthearted, comedic, uh, more PG you can keep the romance but be more PG um, be like Mass Effect basically but with both on foot and on rail section like the Star Wings mission I think that will be an interesting concept to do and a, a better way to bring the, spot, the, the franchise to the spotlight much like F-Zero, I don't, we don't really know, people want to see these franchises return, but we don't really know if there's a market for games like this. We know that F-Zero in the 2000s, the early 2000s, wasn't doing too great. Uh, I'll always say that there are franchises that I'll give the fans, and I'll agree with the fans that it wasn't another that fucked them up. Paper Mario is one of them, Mar uh, and Star Fox is another, but I'll never say that about um, uh, F-Zero and Metroid, because, hey, even the good F-Zero games did not sell well. The, the, the one that people keep saying that it's one of the best of all time, or the best F-Zero game, GX, sold like trash on the GameCube. And you cannot give me the excuse, oh, it's the GameCube, when games on the Wii U sold just fine. And games on the GameCube sold just fine. GameCube is not an excuse, neither is the install base at times. There are games that suffer from install base, don't get me wrong. Tropical Freeze did not achieve his maximum power by being on Wii U. Wonderful 101 suffered from being on Wii U as well. Um, and maybe even Metroid uh, Prime 3 suffered from the more casual uh, side of the Wii's install base. But still, 
all these game all these games could have done better on other platforms like F0 it's a it, GX especially was like what the third big home console F0 game by that point in time and it didn't do particularly well it did under a million for allegedly the best in the series to do under a million is kind of bad uh, so yeah that's it for me I don't have many I don't have more and hey this is even like me holding things not holding things but there are things like uh, or fractions that I could be putting put put in here but I'm I'm thinking of putting them in the next video which will be coming out tomorrow which will be Nindy's working or Indy's working with Nindy I was uh, it's Nindy's working with in Nindy but Ninty but already is like they're already Nindy so but it's basically a video about what IPs from Nintendo I would like for indie companies to work with. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. Tell me in the comment section which uh, spin-offs you would like to see from Nintendo, which one of the ones that are or reimaginings you would like to see from Nintendo and their IPs, um, and what you thought of the video. So, once again, before I forget, uh, once we hit 250 subscribers, there will be another giveaway. We are at 218. Uh, last time I said uh, we're, we're, we'd be doing this giveaway I was at 220 then the numbers dropped and I had to correct myself on the previous video but anyway uh, yeah one more to like comment subscribe and I've been the of DS I'll see you guys next time